One and only GSL Kodas. Holt uh, played really well. I'm really yeah, impressed. Yeah, he did. He did. You know what? Gumi Holt played really well as well. Just barely could not pull it out there. Gumiho's games are really hard to follow. They are. He's, uh, he's all over the place. I didn't even know yeah. where the hell his, his Raven was during yeah. that engagement. The thing is, it was somewhere else fighting a battle it should not have been. Um, but, you know, that's, that's what can happen sometimes. So... Uh, Pull in this winter match. He's going to be going up against DRG. This could be a GSL final stage. So it really could be. Two Both GSL champions. champions. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and guys, don't forget, go onto GOMTV.net and leave questions for the winner, whoever you think that may be. And uh, Snowbird will pick those out and we'll do an interview. Might not need Snowbird if it's Pull. That guy's English is really good. Actually, DRG understands everything in English. Everything. He doesn't speak a lot, but like. When he I make a complicated on. joke that I don't think anyone would understand except, like, you. Yeah, yeah. Because only you're that smart. Yeah. It turns out that DRG just starts laughing. I'm like, wow. Yeah, he actually gets it. You're really smart. First, because you understood. Second, because you realized, yeah, I'm funny. That's the, that's the test. That's the luckiest <laughs> test right there. Let's do this, my nerds. We have Pult up against DRG. The survivor of this best of three moves on to the round of 16 in the GSL CODAS. GSL. Welcome to GSL Whirlwind. All right, let's see who the survivor is going to be. In the bottom left, we have our Terran player defeating Gumiho. He truly is a handsome nerd. He is TSA Port. Truly great player. Yep. A lot of fun to cast his games. And same with this guy up here in the upper left. We have our Zerg player, an MLG and a GSL champion. One of the best Zergs. And a DreamHack champion. Today. Oh, yes, excuse me, and a DreamHack champion. His ID is... MVP Donegu. <laughs> Okie dokie. Here we go. Whirlwind. Uh, Pult looks like he's going to be going... Probably for a command center first here. Yep, he's going command center first. Alright. So, uh, not a bad choice for this map, certainly. DRG, of course, hatch first. It would be hilarious if he did. And, um, as uh, Artosis wisely predicted, I don't know how you do it, Artosis. I don't know. I don't know how you knew that was coming. Uh, I'm a soothsayer. You're a what? A soothsayer. What's a soothsayer? A soothsayer. What's a sooth? It's not, it's not, what? No, a soothsayer. It's someone that like divines the future and stuff. I didn't know that. I didn't yeah. know the word. No. Well, I didn't. you haven't read enough fantasy books, Stasis. No, I haven't, man. I haven't. No, you're messing up. Are you going to read uh, Game of Thrones? Or are you just going to wait for the each series to come out? Oh, I'm God, actually, you know, you know, I'm, I'm torn stressed on that. out about this. Yeah, I don't. I have all these books on my reading list, but I'm like. No, I have so many books on my reading list. That it's like, well, do I really, don't, I really anyway, enjoy the show. Like. I don't know, Tasteless. Like, I, I actually don't know. Don't know. This is like, I'm I, struggling with this. I I feel like I'll eventually do it because I'll like watch another season or two of Game of Thrones. And be like, this is taking too long, and then I'll read everything. <laughs> when is the next season coming out of Game of Thrones? Uh, I think next year. Oh. Hey, remember when this last one ended and you told me? I think it was you that told me that it was coming out again in like August. No, that was Jeff. Oh, okay. He, 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 I, look, I was hurt in that process, too. Yeah, that was hurt in the process. You guys, you realize like, how long it actually takes to film all that stuff? It's, like, so crazy. 
Well, it, takes, like, it definitely takes at least an hour because the episodes are that long. At least. Maybe even more. <laughs> at least 50 minutes. I don't know. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. You know, so more. I was talking to one of my friends, um, and she pointed out, she was explaining to me where the, um, where, the, where the movie's actually filmed. And it's like, I think it's some of it's filmed, like in, uh, oh, God, now I'm forgetting. New Zealand? Like, um, like some part somewhere in uh, the Czech Republic, and then they're basically all over the world. These guys are like all over the world. But it's so funny because it just dawned on me, I'm like, oh, yeah. Whenever I see the map of Game of Thrones, I'm like, no, that's not. Look, the wall is just north of, uh, you know, it's just at the north, and, you know, King's Landing, it's, it's a few days from there, but I'm like, oh, no, this is actually filmed on the planet Earth. I'm like, so into the mythology. Mm. That's my that's my joke. I see. Yeah. That's oh, that's cute. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Here, what we need is candid laughter. So I'm you don't find me funny. I just hit a few keys on the keyboard. It's like ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I need an artosis candid laughter machine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, uh, you know what? I think I have figured out what Polt's doing here. What's up? He's gone. Uh, you know, the really quick command center into two racks into two more racks. So uh, he definitely could do some pressure build, some pressure moves with these Marines, but he's getting two gas right behind. So we might see a quick stim timing coming out from him. Uh, you know, uh, fast stim timings, actually, this is why they nerfed the build time of stim, because you could actually move out with some Marines and Marauders uh, with stim really quick and just kill Zerg, because they couldn't have Baneling speed, and they, you know, they just couldn't have enough, basically, to stop you. Uh, and Polt's actually a player that still does builds kind of like that. Uh, where he just hits his timing right before you have enough to stop him. And he's only getting one tech lab. So that leads me to believe I might be right. Will he start? I, I think you are right. Will he start stim? Stim, stim. There you yep, go. Yep, there it is. So I think he is going to go ahead for this build. Stim, Again, stim, solibim. <laughs> exactly. That's what I was going to say. You yeah. took it right out of my mouth. I know. Um, but this is like, it's an older build. Uh, it's something that we've seen Holt do, though. Specific oh, my God. No, it's Good fine. Gracious. Okay, he kills it. Um, but anyways, this is something we've seen him do on big maps anyways. Uh, Calm Before yeah. the Storm is the last time I've seen this build done. It was done by Polt against the top Zerg, where he's like, well, I'm going to get Stim, I'm going to walk across the map, and I'm going to see if I can do some damage. And he, he ended up killing the Zerg. Uh, it was close, but he did it. So, that's the end of my story. It's a cool story, Artis. Yeah. Cool story, bro. <laughs> All right, the scan comes down here. Nice now this could just look like he's here to clean up the creep, but in fact, it's uh, much, much scarier than that. It's, it's going to be that stim timing. Mm -hmm. He backs up a little bit here. It is six queen play. A lot of lings on the way. Oh, nice. Gets one queen. Yeah. And this is, uh, you know, this right now he's making it kind of look like uh, it's that timing I was talking about before where you pressure with the Marines, but a little bit heavier on it. You know, normally you move out a little bit quicker with them. Anyways, uh, he's starting to make some Marauders, still making Marines. Combat Shields is next, but we definitely should see an attack. Because you don't make Marauders at this point in the game if you're not going to do that attack I was talking about. Nice. But he's not going all in with it. Yeah. What? Looks like he's just going to go ahead and remove that neutral depot outside of his base. Mm -hmm. And uh, get two more gases. So I choose well, sides and the depot didn't so he <laughs> killed it give us supply yeah. Switzerland depot had to go <laughs> alright Bainling's nest on the way is, is he actually not going to do a timing? No, he, is? he has to. It's, okay, it here we go. It makes sense. He's trying to time it out so that he actually he gets combat shields right when it hits. Uh, because that's called efficiency. Yep. Now, the Ling sees this coming. We should see nothing but units being made. He just made a round of drones, nine drones, uh, which is a little bit painful, but he's going right into units from here. A lot of Ling's being produced. Bane Ling Nest not done yet. It's 29 Marines and 6 Marauders against 19 Ling's and 7 Queens. But there are more lings on the way, so. And right. that's nice. Catches some of the units. Here. Very nice catch. Uh, but if he stays the wall, he can do a lot yeah. of damage up here. Yeah, you're absolutely right. If he just hugs that wall. Yeah, and he's going right. for Tasis. And it's stim time. Right, okay, scanning. And he wants to get some of these bane lings over here. Yeah, that's he can. Oh, he's got to watch out for those bane lings. DRG with a beautiful flank. Oh, my God. And that was perfect, Cases. He bought just enough time with his initial batch of speedlings. Yeah. That Polt's attack was a little bit too slow, and the Banelings morphed, and he surrounded. That was a perfect hold by DRG. Just he did it perfectly because that was a very strong and scary attack by Polt, and now Polt's behind. Man, all of that for nothing. He didn't kill a single drone. Yeah. You know, 
And that was, that was I, awesome. It's not that he's, he's dead, but I mean, where are you going to go from here, you know? Yeah, I guess you're just going to try to struggle and get a third. Bainling speed's on the way. And I guarantee you, Jerry, he's going to be pushing his creep so hard. Well, Full is backing up into normal play. He's landed his third command center. He's going up towards siege tanks. This plays into DRG's hands. The 1-1 one -one is not even done where 2-2 two started for DRG. His, his Spire is almost finished. His Baneling Speed is almost finished. Uh, he's getting that macro hatch up. Looks like DRG might stay on that, that very... Um, wow, nice little Zerg thing, but... Um, he might stay on that very layer heavy type of play that we saw already all day from him. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, the fact I don't know, that what's going on with these queens? Is this a bad hockey? Okay. Yeah. You're going to attack basis. Would it be cute if the queens had little walkers like grannies? You know, when I see those queens walking across the map like that, it reminds me of when the Ents attacked in, uh, in, in Lord, Lord, Lord of the Rings. Rings. Yeah. That scene is sick. It's time for the Ents to attack. And they just like walk very slowly towards what they want to go kill. Tree Ents are so cool. Yeah. But I'm scared. I'm totally scared of tree ants. That's why I'm never going to New Zealand, man. I'm oh, no. They, you know what? People all say over Australia has scary stuff, man. New Zealand tree has tree ants. You know what they... Australia's only got drop bears. Well, imagine if they teamed up because of tree ants or trees. Oh, my God. Drop bears would what drop if, out what of them. Drop, what if drop bears could... Yeah. Just like, go for their legs with axes. And oh then drop God. bears just fall on you. It's all over, man. Imagine if New Zealand and Australia could get along well enough together to get that team up going. Imagine, they take over the world. Just imagine if those guys had an army of ghosts. <laughs> I know. It would be crazy. Oh. Uh, well, we have a uh, center tower on the way here. Uh, actually, it's out now. Excuse me. And uh, look, Bolt's okay, but he's going to have a hard time moving out of this map. And this map is a big, scary place if you're... Uh, if you're a, 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 a Terran against a Zerg, or if you're a Protoss against a Zerg, it's just, there's so, mm. it's so big it can be countered, you know, the, 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 even bailing landmines, like, you know, if you go to basic path, like, how many scans are you going to have to get down? Well, to know. you know what he's going to do? He's making, he is going for this super crazy layer tech stuff with a ton of Banes, ton of Lings, ton of Mutas. Yeah. But he's, he's got his 2-2 already. He's getting Burrow this time. Remember before we mentioned, you know, if he had Burrow, when all these units are running back chasing him, he could burrow and screw them up, where you're right. going to have to scan the entire way. Uh, but he's getting burrow this time. So if Colt moves out, that's what we're going to see. And hold on, he is attacking in now. The Link's going after these sea chicks. So many Bane Link's rolling in, and he's going to go right up that ramp and to the other side. He is everywhere, and DRG crushing through these armies. Wow, he is just dominating right now. And I think actually if he just keeps making lanes, which he's doing right now, yeah, yeah the third base is going to fall no matter what. Oh man, killing a ton of SCVs. Look at the supply, 69 to 154, 30 more lings on the way already. His How many workers were killed, Artosis? Well, tasteless 35. Well, that's a lot of our uh, SCVs. It certainly is. Um, DRG just looking great, man. To come, He's looking like he's set to come out of this group in first place. Yeah. But Polt lost game one before to Gumiho and came right back. So you can't count him out. And in fact, he's not leaving this game quite yet. But uh, I think this next wave actually might kill Polt. Well, I'm not. He can't defend both both locations yeah. yet. So that's that's. He the might real even problem. actually. DRG might even want to go for the. He might even excuse me want to go for the second instead of the third. Because then he's just going to get into the main. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, I would go wherever there's the least siege tanks, which right now is the third. But he's going to come in here with some more meters. By the way, he is going to hive this game. Uh, and why not? Just get the hive. You're already really far ahead. You don't want to do bad attacks. If you see a place where you can attack, go for it. But... And, I mean, DRG's maxed out now. So, yeah, I mean, he's just going to get everything else that he possibly can get. Mm-hmm. See if he's going to make a huge round of banelings. Doesn't look like it. And uh, yeah, you know, as that hive finishes kind up, kind of a calm before the storm here. Hmm. I think he'll probably go for Broodlord Tech, to be honest, because he has this many banes. Well, anyways, right, here, we, here go. we go. He might end this game before then. Who knows? He's attacking in. The siege tanks falling very quickly. Very few siege tanks left over. And. Oh, I think he's gonna. This is basically a kill move. The third base can lose all these SCDs. Oh man! And oh god, I feel bad for Colt. DRG is just dominating. And has been dominating since that failed attack. A failed timing. 
Well, looks like he's still just barely alive right now. At 6 and 7 supply, BRG will max out again very soon here. Yep, uh, going for the Ultra's Cavern. Yeah, he does have good upgrades for that. Kind of makes sense. It's a little bit quicker to get that moving. Holt right now. Uh, I mean, he's moving out, but he's down by a full supply. That's not gonna work. I think we're going to see him GG before we see any actual high tech. GG. Well played, DRG. Mm -hmm. You know what? It all comes down to Holt planned out a very strong early attack. But that attack has to do some damage. DRG saw it coming because he had some really good Ling scouting. He brought his speedlings down. Anything that was a little bit too far away, he surrounded. And he like kept jotting in and out with the Lings, which forced Holt to group up his army, go a little bit slower, walk backwards for a little bit, and then continue on, which gave DRG the time to morph his Banelings and swing his Lings around for the flank to hold the Marines still to hit with the Banelings. It all came down to DRG's small set of Speedlings that he had, the 19 Speedlings he had uh, before the attack came, and how he stalled with them. That is, yeah, when that he is came, what when that he came, came down up to. from behind and blocked those Marines, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh my god, it's only going to take like three Banelings to kill all these Marines. Yeah. It was beautiful. And the thing is, Polt doesn't even look really upset. That's a hard map, especially against a player like DRG. Uh, I think he knows. He's like, well, you know what? DRG actually handled that situation perfectly. I did a build that's not its not around anymore for some reasons, because right, you can right. do things like this to it. Uh, it's a powerful build. It was a good choice for the map, I feel. It just didn't work out that time. All right. We're moving on now. The game number two, they're both in game now. DRG up against Bolt. Antigua Shipyard now, is the map. Good Bolt choice. Bolt has to win the next two. DRG only needs one win out of the next two. And they're out. The loser goes down to face off against the survivor of uh, best of three, number four. Yeah. Alrighty. Tasos, what do you think? Antigua Shipyard, can Bolt do it? Um, you know. I think DRG is going to do that three base timing stuff he does. When the Terran well, yeah. gets on three bases, he's just going to wreck him with Yudas and Lings. Mm -hmm. If DRG holds that, I'd say Polt could do it. All right. We will see in a moment here. Oh, excuse me. I mean, if Polt holds that, yeah, then DRG can do it. I, uh, then, 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 excuse me. If well, Polt holds it, then Polt can do it, I would that, hope. That's what I meant. Okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I, that's what I assumed. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. Let's do this. The second game, DRG against Pult. The winner of this series does go on to the round of 16 in the GSL Code S.